new study finds that a common ingredient found in energy drinks could help fuel the growth of cancers like leukemia. If you've seen the headlines recently, you might think your pre-workout energy drink or taurine supplements are about to give you cancer. I mean, check out these headlines. Common energy drink ingredient linked to blood cancer. Doctors warn popular drink may increase risk of blood cancer. Doctors issue urgent warning over ingredient that turbocharges blood cancer found in popular drinks. Common ingredient in energy drinks linked to blood cancer growth, study finds. A new study revealed that energy drinks may boost cancer growth. Here's what to know. Now, they're all over Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and all across the rest of the internet. And it sounds pretty scary, right? I mean, when was the last time you had an energy drink? But what if any of it is actually true? Those headlines are referencing a cancer study published in Nature in May of 2025, which took a specific look at taurine and a specific type of cancer. Today, we're gonna to break down the real science behind that, and we're gonna answer these questions. Does taurine cause cancer? And more importantly, should you be worried? As mentioned, the headlines are all referencing a peer-reviewed study published in Nature, which is one of the most respected science journals in the entire world. Researchers wanted to understand how a specific type of blood cancer called acute myeloid leukemia, or AML for short, survives and spreads inside the bone marrow. Now, speaking of leukemia, on a more personal note, when I was young, my cousin was diagnosed with leukemia. And I don't remember the specific kind of leukemia. There are four different types, but she had leukemia. Her name was Meredith and she was seven years old when she died. I was nine at the time and I still remember the profound sadness that I felt at losing my cousin at such a young age. I also remember feeling such incredible sorrow for my uncle, her father. He was a single dad and she was his life. He loved that little girl. So when I saw this study referencing leukemia, it grabbed my attention and my curiosity. So let's get back to the study. Think of AML or acute myeloid leukemia like a weed growing in the garden. And to kill it, you need to understand what's making it grow. Scientists used a combination of human leukemia samples, mouse models, single cell sequencing, and gene editing tools to trace what leukemia stem cells were pulling in from their environment. And that's where they found it, taurine. A molecule produced by surrounding bone cells was being absorbed by the cancer cells. Not because taurine is inherently toxic, but because cancer cells were hijacking it to use it as fuel to fuel their own metabolism. What they found was that taurine doesn't cause that specific type of cancer, but it can fuel it. TAUT, T-A-U-T, stands for taurine transporter. It's short for SLC6A6, which is a gene that encodes a protein responsible for transporting taurine across cell membranes. Leukemia cells in the bone marrow use that transporter to absorb the taurine. This was shown both in mouse bone marrow cells and human AML samples. Once inside the cell, taurine doesn't mutate DNA and it doesn't start cancer. But what it does do is supercharge a process called glycolysis, which is how cells break down sugar into usable energy, which is one reason that taurine is included in energy drinks and is such a popular supplement, especially for people engaged in consistent exercise programs. The study showed that in leukemia, Taurine acts like metabolic fuel, giving the cancer cells the energy that they need to grow faster and resist treatment. So basically, leukemia cells were hijacking the taurine transporter and taking advantage of the effects of taurine for themselves. The increased uptake in metabolic use of taurine was demonstrated in patient-derived human leukemia stem cells transplanted into mice, as well as engineered mouse models of leukemia. So to be clear, this study does not present evidence that taurine actually causes cancer in healthy people. But people who already have acute myeloid leukemia, taurine may help the cancer thrive. 
So the big question is, should you be worried? This is where context really matters. It's irresponsible and misleading to claim that taurine causes cancer based on this study. That is not what the data shows. There is zero evidence in this study that taurine actually causes cancer or triggers cancer in healthy people. So you don't need to panic about your supplement stack or your energy drinks. But if you have AML or are being or undergoing treatment for it, taurine may make the disease harder to treat. This idea comes from transplant experiments where human AML cells were engrafted into immunodeficient mice. In those models, taurine clearly promoted leukemia progression. In that context, taurine is more like uh, giving fuel to the enemy. That's the real message. Not that taurine is dangerous for everyone, but that it behaves very differently inside a body that's already fighting leukemia. Now here's the very exciting part of this study. They didn't stop at just observation. Researchers asked, well, what happens if we block the cancer's ability to absorb taurine? And the results were just huge. Using gene editing technology, the, they deleted the taut gene in human leukemia cells. They showed that without taurine uptake, those cells couldn't survive, especially when transplanted into mice. They also tested taut inhibition, remember taurine transporter inhibition, pharmacologically, which means they used drugs or medication in mouse models of AML, which basically means mice that already had leukemia. And it significantly slowed leukemia growth. What was even more promising was that blocking the taurine transporter made leukemia more sensitive to drugs used to treat it. So now scientists are looking into new therapies that could target taurine uptake, possibly making the existing treatments much more effective. The study is actually a major breakthrough, not a public health crisis. So where does that leave you? Should you supplement with taurine? Once again, if you're healthy, this study does not say taurine is dangerous. And it certainly doesn't say taurine causes cancer. If you use taurine to, for focus, endurance, or performance, Based on this information, you're not in any danger. That said, it's always a good idea to exercise caution, and it's obviously a good idea and advisable to keep your eyes open and ears peeled, or your eyes, your ears open and your eyes peeled for more research that comes out. That just makes good sense. But if you're being treated for leukemia, especially for this type of leukemia, AML, acute myeloid leukemia, for, or if you know someone who is, it's worth talking to your doctor about taurine intake, especially from high dose supplements or energy drinks. And if your doctor is not aware of the study, tell them about it. This is particularly relevant because the study suggests taurine uptake may play a role in relapse and resistance, which they saw in mouse models receiving human leukemic stem cells. So what about all the headlines? As mentioned earlier, the paper doesn't say taurine causes cancer. Can we say that enough? It presents evidence that leukemic cells use taurine to their advantage and that we may actually be able to use that knowledge against them. And that is really cool. This information expands our understanding of how to fight this specific type of cancer. Oh, I would love to see this lead to further research that could maybe ultimately even lead to a cure for leukemia. I would love for other parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, families, cousins, friends to be spared of the gut-wrenching heartache and the inexplicable sadness and sorrow that comes when someone suffers from such a horrible disease and is taken from us far too soon. Now you might be wondering how taurine relates to longevity and how it might be used as a longevity biomarker or not. If you wanna know more about that, check out this video right over here.